Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. So as you see in the title, I've got a haul to share with you guys. It's basically from Goodwill, but I got a few miscellaneous things I want to share with you guys. But first, let's talk about the baby I have for sale. Um, I do budget babies, so I buy them from Ivita, uh, Volens, Cosdal, AliExpress, all the different ones. They're full body silicones and I am an artist. I've been an artist since I was five for painting and I started doing the silicone painting about two years ago and it just came natural for me. So I love to paint these babies and seal them and give you guys a great deal on it. She is $299 plus large flat rate shipping within the U.S., Anything outside of the U.S., of course, the shipping would be a little bit more depending on where it's going. Some would be a lot more, um, but depending where she's going in some countries, I can't even send to. But anyways, this beautiful little girl, I call her Goldie. I do name all of my babies as I'm working with them. I just grow a little bond with them and, you know, as I'm painting and getting them ready to go to a new mommy or daddy. So I name them. Some people keep the name. Some people change it. Uh, just recently, my uh, friend that watches me, Gloria, but my little guy, my little 14-inch baby that was, um, I had named Joseph. I called him Joey. I don't remember what she named it. I'll throw it up in the screen here, and I'll throw up her screen name. But she finally got him. She's in Jamaica, and she finally got him and slept with him last night. She is so in love. i read her comment, you guys. Um, if I can uh, screenshot it, put it up here, I will. Uh, but she is madly in love. Again, another happy, successful customer. Uh, she's very happy with the paint job and how he looks. She just loves him. So definitely try out my babies. You will love them. You'll love how I seal them and how they're just soft and great. And never have to be powders as, as far as I know. I have not had to powder one that I did over a year ago. And I do bathe them. I do, you know, clothes changing and everything. And they're they're staying nice and soft with that silicone velvet. Thus, its name. It's very velvety soft, and even after a bath, they haven't had to be powdered yet. So, yeah, I'm very happy about that. I did open this little girl's mouth for you. They don't come uh, with an open mouth. She is an open eye baby, uh, but they don't come with the open mouth. So I do open them up for you guys just straight across, uh, but it does take pretty much all pacifiers. And so she's got a nook that she's going to come home with. I just did a little bottle for the prop, but that goes with her. And I just wanted to show you, she's got this cute, adorable outfit that says, I love mom and dad. Says it all over the pants and the matching hat. She is a baldy, but she also can, um, you know, wear cute bows too, which uh, looks adorable even on the bald babies. This one looks so cute bald. This one is the version of the Pepper Baby. If you watch and Love with Reborn, Stephanie's Baby. She just recently brought that one out again because we haven't seen that one for a while. But her Pepper version, that's the one I got here. This baby has got veining, mottling, Look at how bouncy she is. She's such a bouncy baby. I just want to lift this just a little bit better here. Um, she's in my cute bouncy chair, but she's just so floppy. She's a 20 Ecoflex. Uh, mottling, veining, blushing. I gave her a little scratch. She scratched herself. She's got a little scratch on her face. I don't know if you guys are seeing that from that far away. I'll actually just bring her up closer to the camera. Um, but I like to share because I get new people all the time. She'll get this whole outfit and she comes with a second outfit. It's a dress. But look at her, you guys. Isn't she beautiful? Let's pull out her nook for you so you guys can see that little scratch. And she does have the open mouth now so she can take full nooks. This is a newborn nook, but she can take all nooks. And she is fully painted. There's her little nail beds. I do the beds and the tips on it. Hopefully you guys can see that and it's not blurry. There's her other hand. This is a fisted hand, but fully painted those tips as well. She is just gorgeous. I'm not going to completely undress her, but I do have a video on that. But she's a gorgeous, flappy baby. I want to show you. I'm going to put my hand back here, but look at this, you guys. She is so floppy. She is a 20 or less Ecoflex. Uh, very floppy, very squishy. You can see how squishy she is. She's squishier than any of the babies that I own. I own two of this in my collection because I loved it. I have a boy and a girl, and my Heavenly is a 20, and she She's not as floppy and squishy as this one. This one is so squishy. And then my boy, Toby, he's a 30 eagle, so he really isn't like this. But this baby is very, very squishy and fun. She's got one of the new outfits on that's coming home with her, but she is gorgeous, you guys. And she's looking for a new home. I do this because I want to try to help people out. These are definitely babies for all uh, reasonings. Let me stick something under here just so it stays straight. All reasonings. People buy them for therapy babies. They buy them for just fun, for collecting. Um, you know, some people may have lost a child and they want, you know, one, I want to try to do it as a budget for you guys. Are these perfect, flawless babies? No, they got the seam lines and everything, but you know, I do try to file some of that off. And of course, when they're painted, you don't really notice it. Uh, so if you're somebody, you know, 
just not into that, that's fine. Of course, she is not a COA baby. Um, so if you're not into that either, I understand. But I'm doing it just as a budget. I'm trying to find babies that are not copies unless somebody finds one that they really like and wants me to paint. Um, we can talk because eventually I'm going to do customs too. Um, but yeah, I just, I want to help people out get babies at an affordable cost. She was just a little over 200 with tax and I'm only selling her at 299 with everything she comes with. So basically I'm making nothing off of these babies, just pennies on the dollar right now. But eventually they are going to be more. Um, I'm never going to go too high though. The most I'll ever do is probably if I did a root one. I'm working on the rooting. That's not my profession is the rooting. I will get better. I'm doing mine, but eventually I will get better and I will include that too. And then um, the most expensive baby would be $5.99. But right now, um, without hair, it'd be $4.99. But right now we're going to stick at $2.99 for the most expensive. And if I get a baby a little cheaper, that one. So it's going to be, my prices will range between $1.99 and $2.99 right now. But as then, you know, eventually I got to go up on them, but I'm trying to just, I'm always going to be budget babies, you know, never, ever going to get too ridiculous. But yeah, she's so beautiful, you guys. And she's looking for home. Look at those beautiful blue eyes she has. They're so light blue. And I thought Goldie Hawn, uh, you know, the name Goldie, Goldie Hawn with those light, light blue eyes. She's just a gorgeous baby and she needs a home. Yeah, she's looking for a home. And I thought I would just throw her in some of my videos uh, just to show you guys all this goes home with her. Um, along with everything in here. I'm not going to dump it out, but it's got another second outfit. That's from, this outfit was from TJ Maxx. This outfit is from Walmart. It's a three-piece outfit. Uh, it's a Carter's. And then, of course, she's got a little pair of sandals. I mean, you've got um, uh, baby wipes, diapers, a teether, gloves that will go over her hands, um, socks, a blanket that she'll be covered in, which is a fleece blanket, Gerber. You got baby powder. You got a baby washcloth, baby towel, You've got a baby clip to clip on the pacifiers. Um, uh, let's see, just all kinds of goodies in here, you guys. All kinds of goodies. I can't remember everything that's in here, but all kinds of goodies that comes home with her. I just stick it in here, and in the back, I keep it closed over just to keep everything dust-free. She stays in a box, and she doesn't want to be in that box anymore. She needs a home. So if you guys are looking for a great baby, would like to try out one of my babies and see my paint job, and how I seal them, how they're just as soft as silk, because they're called silicone velvet. Uh, she's got such beautiful veining, and she just, she's got the wetness in her mouth and her nose uh, and her, you know, going down the eyes here. Again, I'll bring her up one more time to the camera just so you can see that beautiful face and eyes. She's so pretty, you guys. She needs a home. Let's find a good home for her. $2.99. That's it, you guys. $2.99. That is a steal for a fully painted, full body silicone. I know it's not a, a COA baby, but it's still very cheap. I've known people in Canada that have paid 400 for a baby without even being painted. And without being painted, they are sticky. I've got those babies. I talked about it in a Fashion Friday video, how when they're sticky like that, unpainted, they're sticky. They're just, they, they collect everything. They're just, they're just a pain. You got to powder them all the time. They're just a pain, hard to dress. She now... Um, I have not done, you know, anything with her other than showing you guys back and forth. But, I mean, nothing on her. Nothing sticks to her because she's so soft. So, it just can't once she's sealed like that. She's like, I mean, maybe you might find a piece here and there in her, but they seal so good. You don't even have to powder them. They're just amazing. So, yeah, just wanted to share her with you guys and look at how her head can do whatever you want with it. I mean, this baby is just one of the floppiest babies ever. So, let's cock that cute little head and hope that you guys get a good look at her. So she is up for sale. All right, let me go over the, I'm um, sorry for talking so long. Let me go over the uh, things that I got. So these are a few things that I bought from my good friend, Michelle, from, uh, what is it, Reborn's, Reborn Doll, or gosh, I can't remember her name now. Blessings Reborn Dolls, uh, Michelle. I bought a few things. She had a live uh, sell one day and I bought a few things. So I wanted a few more lovies because I want all my babies to have their own lovey. This one isn't coming home with a lovey. So hopefully you got a lovey for her. She's not coming home with one. She's got, you know, lots of stuff in there though. But I got these two lovies. This is a dolphin for a boy and this one's for a girl. Love them. I got them from her and um, that I bought. And then I bought this too. It's a um, cover for a uh, bassinet. And I wanted the dark blue one like that. There's a reason why for that. Well, for a boy or girl, and I needed it for a boy. Okay, and then I won a couple things. Um, I won, I believe I won these. I don't think I paid for these. I think I won them, but they're onesies. So we got a couple of onesies here. This is just some animal print on here. This one is cute with the gray and black uh, polka dots with the purple trim. Really cute. And I think they're all, I want to say newborn size. This is zero to three. This one is newborn and this one here is definitely going to be a zero to three, three month. Yeah. 
Like, it looks like a little baseball one for a baby. So I got those. I think I got those free. And then I won this, too, this little Mexican doll. Very, very cute. Um, a little, um, I don't know if she's, she looks Indian. That's probably what she is because of the um, dress and stuff on her. So I think she's a little Indian baby. Isn't she cute? Yeah, she would be Indian. Isn't she adorable? I got her. And then I got this very old vintage doll. Um, I'm going to fix the little clothes on it because they're kind of ripped. I'm going to stitch that down and fix the clothing on it. But she's very old. I got this. It's, it. I think it is glass. Yeah, she's a glass doll. I thought she said it's from the 70s. I'll have to ask her again. And I will, um, unless it says it on the back here. Yeah, I can't see the date on this. I'll have to ask her. But I swear she said, gosh, I want to say she said the 70s, but it could be even older than that. I'll have to ask her. But yeah, I got this cute blonde. She's blonde or kind of like a strawberry blonde. Um, but I got this really pretty vintage um, ceramic doll that sits up on my shelf. All right, now this stuff is from, um, I got a couple of outfits um, still nesting because I got that one of their um, baby coming and we're getting close to August. It's supposed to be a couple weeks into August. I'm so excited about that baby coming. You don't know the gender or nothing on that one. That was a custom full body silicone. Super excited. So I was nesting with that baby, nesting with the Robbie baby that I got, the vinyl, of course, nesting with um, the one I got from In Love with Reborns, my Bella. They're both vinyl babies. Um, just love them so much. So I was nesting so much with them and I was getting stuff for them. But just a couple other items. I'm not going to show you the bag, of course, for the new baby coming. You'll get to see that because, of course, each one I show, if they don't really come with a lot of stuff, I show um, or even if they do, I show things that I get nesting, you know. But these were just a couple other things that I got at Target the day that I was getting some stuff for the Robbie baby. I found a couple girl items. This was only $8.40 on clearance. But it's got the cute little pants with the heart in the back and then some onesies with ladybugs. Isn't that cute? My mom loves ladybugs, but it's got the hearts. They're like heart balloons and um, or heart flowers it's supposed to be and ladybugs. So I thought that was cute. And then the pink heart in the back. So that's going to be for my girls. And this is newborn. Eight, I paid eight dollars and fifty cents, right? Eight forty, and it was originally. Is there an original tag on here? Um, originally, it's underneath this. Oh, it, it tore it off, but it looks like it was originally fifteen dollars. It looks like so half, half the price. So I got that, and then look at this, you guys. I love this. This was only um, seven dollars for this, and it was originally eleven. But look at this little. Um, like jumper, this little jumper onesie type thing. It's navy blue with the little uh, lace going around like the, do it looks like doily and the little tied sleeves, but it's isn't this cute in the navy blue? I love this. It's gonna look good on one of my little girls and it is a newborn size. Yep, newborn Carters. This is a Carters. And was this Carters too? Yep, these were Carters too. So that was the stuff I just thought, well, I'll just let you see because that already is for my babies that I have here. Now this is the, Oh, oh, and then Target, um, I got, remember that little outfit I showed you on Abel, my 25 gestational baby? I got him that cute little outfit with the hat and the pants. Well, I also got him a little sleeper, and it also comes with a hat as well. Um, these babies, you can get that smaller baby like that. He's 12 inches. You can get these clothes. They're for dolls, so real, I believe, at Target. Um, they have separate outfits. So I got him that little sleeper, plus I own one of these. Um, but I got him this little sleeper, and it's just got um, uh, zoo animals on it. Yeah, an elephant, a uh, giraffe. A tiger, a monkey, just really cute. And it also comes with a hat like the other one did. So I was a little hat. So I just got that from him. I'm trying to get him a few little things. I'm going to order some clothes online for him too because these are more doll clothes, but they still look really cute on him. All right, now the haul from um, uh, Goodwill. Okay, so let's do the haul from Goodwill. I've got some blankets here. I don't know if they're vintage, you guys, but they look vintage to me. If they're not, they are just great. I love them. I don't know if they're vintage. But like I said, I just, I love them. This is a knitted blanket. So I don't know if this one is vintage, but it's got the, uh, you know, the ties. It's so cute, it, like the ribbons on it. And like I said, this could just be a crocheted blanket. Maybe it's not vintage, this one, but it surely looks vintage. I'll tell you that much. It does look vintage to me. And I only paid, how much was this? $3.99 for this at the Goodwill. But isn't that cute with all the different colors running through it? I love it. And I love that it's a knitted blanket. Um, this one here, I do believe, is a um, vintage. That This one here looks vintage to me. It didn't have any tags on it, so I couldn't tell. I paid $4.99 for this one, but it does look vintage to me. Again, if it's not, it's a knitted blanket, but it looks vintage. I really like it. And then this one here, another one I do believe is vintage. $3.99 for this one. And it's a smaller one, but still really cute. Oh, it's a pillowcase. Oh, my gosh, this is actually a pillowcase. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I didn't notice that, you guys, but isn't that cute? I'm going to use it just in with the babies, though, just as a little blanket for them. Or maybe I could put a pillow in it uh, just to lay babies on. But isn't that cute? And it kind of, to me, uh, looked with the patchwork, kind of looked vintage. If it's not, it's not, but looked, it gave me that vintage feel. So I got that. And then I found this cute outfit. Look at this cute outfit. I just love this. I can't wait to put this on one of my girls. It is a newborn size. I paid $1.49 uh, $1 for it. But isn't this adorable? It's silky and just something I've never seen anything like it. Never seen anything like it at all. It is just so cute. It reminds me of like a, a genie. Like, you know, um, I dream a genie. It kind of reminds me of that type of outfit. I just love it. And I can't wait to put it on one of my girls. It'll look cute in one of the um, change videos or whatever for them. But isn't that adorable? And it's uh, white with the blues and the purples in it and some uh, nude in it. But it's just so cute. You know, it goes in here and at the bottom singes in, but it's got the lace on it. Adorable. Isn't that adorable? It's going to look so cute on one of my girls. All right. And then I got um, these uh, vintage, and I know these are vintage. I got these vintage dolls here. This one here. Um, I've got to fix this outfit on this one. So I'm going to just, um, I'm going to stitch it and sew it. But I can definitely tell this is like a, God, I'm going to say 1970s. That's what I think it is, is a 1970s. I couldn't tell on the back here. Yeah, I can't see, but I'm going to look up the name and stuff like that. I'm not sure. But we all know that this is vintage. You can tell just by looking at it. A vintage doll. Very cute. And I like the crocheted dress on it. It's so cute. And the shoes. It's got um, shoes on that don't come off. It's got the little high heels. But isn't she pretty, you guys? And definitely, I would say, gosh, I want to say... 70s just because of that headband on her probably the 70s so really pretty doll that's going to set up with my um in my nursery this one here definitely is an old doll and i don't know if this one had any information yeah this one says 1970 that's what i'm saying yep 1970 this one's from 1970 and i don't know who she is i will you know fix the hair and stuff like that of course she just needs to be fixed up a little bit wash the outfits and stuff but so cute. It came in this bag. It was three dolls in this bag here. So, yep, we got this little one. Adorable. We'll just fix up her, her uh, clothing and stuff. But I like how her eyes look to the side. And she just needs her little ponytails fixed and brushed out. So I will fix it. You guys, it looks funny how it's sticking up like that. But isn't she cute? Adorable. Adorable. And I like the little outfit on her. So cute. And then this one here, there was a dress in the bag. So I'm just going to quickly throw the little dress on it. This dress does not look vintage at all, but she is vintage. So I don't know if somebody just threw, you know, that in there. Didn't have the vintage um, outfit for this one. Um, so I will definitely, um, you know, find something to go on this that would look more vintage. But for now, I just saw it in there and I thought, well, that'll work. So she doesn't have to be naked. Um, but another... Um, old, old doll. You can definitely tell she's old. I don't know if the date's on this one. Um, I don't see a date and I don't want to make this video too long. Um, but this one needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It looks like there's fingernail polish on it. Um, I don't know why there's tag is on it. So unless somebody threw that in there, I don't know. But anyway, she's got a little bit of, it looks like polish or something on it. So I'll get it off, but she needs to be fixed up a little bit. I'll wash her. But another vintage, she doesn't have the shoes on. She's got the feet like Barbie. But yeah, definitely a vintage doll. She's got the eyes looking to the side as well. Do they all do that? Yeah, they're all doing that. They're all looking off to the side. So I don't know if it was a certain collection. I don't know, but super cute. And I know that that dress isn't vintage, though. So. so we got some vintage babies here, which was awesome. Love that. And then I've got a bag here. I found Lamb Chop, you guys. Look at, I believe it's Lamb Chop. It's a puppet. And I always used to love watching that show. I only paid $3.99 for this, and I think I did see this one was older. Let me see. 1992. Yep, this is from 92. So anything 20 years and older is vintage, and we got Lamb Chop. They had another one there, but that was from the, like, 2010 or 2012 on it. So I grabbed this one. Look at that Lamb Chop. Isn't that cute, you guys? Love the way it looks. It's just so, so cute, and it's a puppet. And then I got... Um, Oh, come on. I got this guy. Um, I'm drawing a blank here. Yoda. Look at Yoda, you guys. I had to have this. I had to. My husband's the one that actually picked this out. And I, it's Star Wars. It says it right on it. And is there a date on this? Um, 
I don't see a date on this. I don't know why I don't put dates on everything, unless I'm just missing the date. Because some of the stuff is so small. It's hard to see, but it is a Star Wars. It's got the, the tag, so definitely a Star Wars. So I'll have to look at it. But you look at it, I got Yoda, you guys. The little old man, the Yoda. I love it. And it was $6.99 for this. Love Yoda. He's a stuffed animal. That's going to look great up sitting up on my stand. And then um, I got Bambi. I thought that would be fun. I found Bambi. And I don't know. This one didn't even have a tag at all. The tag has been ripped here or unless. Was it ripped off? Yeah, it looks like the tag was ripped off. So I can't even see the date of this one. But I got a Bambi, you guys. And I paid $4.99 for that. But I really like having some of the older you know, uh, cartoons and stuff like that. So I love it. I love Bambi. I always liked Bambi. And then I got this for my Dylan baby. Remember I told you he used to play with a rubber ducky in the bathtub. Of course, it was a great big one and he was old enough to sit up. So he was about a year and a half old. So now being a infant size baby, you know, he's a newborn size baby. Um, I thought I would, you know, I, I saw this duck and this would be closer to the size that it was. Um, his was a, you know, a big rubber duck, but for a small baby, this was perfect. This is just a tad smaller, but this is going to be a lot better than that one that little blue one he holds. So he'll have a lovey, but it's a rubber duck. And I paid $1.99 for that. And it was brand new. The tag is still on it. So he gets a brand new little ducky, he gets his ducky and it'll be his lovey. It's going to be his lovey. I thought that was perfect. Sorry, my earbud fell out. Okay. And then I got, um, let's see, was that everything? One more piece. And then I got this. For, and I got to figure out how, oh, hang on. I think it adjusts over this way. That's why. Yeah, there we go. I got this chair, you guys. Look at this chair for my small baby that I have. Um, I also have a couple babies in my cart that I want that are seven inches. So it'll be for that. But my husband saw this and I thought, I can't pass it up. It's like a little car seat or a little bouncy for a small baby. So I thought it was perfect. The vel it Velcro's off so I can wash this. Uh, but I thought, isn't that adorable to set my small babies in? That'll be so cute. Well, right now I just have the one four-incher. But in my cart at AliExpress, I have two babies that I want really bad. Um, the crybaby one and um, another one, I think. Uh, I can't remember what the other one looks like. But I have it in my cart, and I'm getting ready, hopefully soon, to be able to order those two. They're seven inches. But, yeah, look at that. It is so cute. It's a little, like, folding-up chair, but they can sit inside of there. And I believe that both the babies could sit there. Probably all three could fit in there. But isn't that adorable? My husband found that. And I don't even know what we paid for this. I don't remember. I think it was like five bucks for it or four ninety nine, three ninety nine, something like that. But it's got the tie dye look. Isn't that cute? A little chair for the babies to sit in. So that's going to be cute. But that is the haul, you guys. Sorry if this video was a little long. I just wanted to show my Goldie that I have for sale again and let you guys know and um, show you my haul. So yeah. I just had fun and got some vintage things. Some is vintage and some isn't. But, yeah, I like to share it with you guys. But anyways, I hope you guys are staying safe, happy, and healthy and are enjoying my videos, enjoying the new babies that I'm bringing in. Um, after this next one in August, I got to wait a little while then, you know, for new babies. I got to wait a while. Plus, I'm, I'm running out of room. So, I got to wait. But anyways, I hope you guys are all, like I said, staying safe, happy, and healthy, and as always, leaning on the Lord. And definitely consider this beautiful Goldie, this beautiful baby here. She is 8.5 pounds and 19 inches long. She's a great size baby and very realistic and very cute and full body silicone. Adorable. All right, everybody take care and God bless. And let's let Goldie throw you a kiss. Mwah. You see that beautiful vein on that hand? We love you guys. Everybody take care and God bless.